I'm a violinist and performance artist and originally from the USA and I've studied in Boston and in Vienna very classical education at first and then I'm now living in London which for me is, is the city that, that really brought me to this moment where I'm doing something different. I'm trying to bring music into a new context to directly contact the public and create performances which, which are more of an involvement for the audience and, and not just me on the stage in a very classical context. My performance here at the Fondation Bela is uh, me seated in a chair with a chair in front of me and any member of the public can come one at a time to sit in front of me and look into my eyes and we will have a deep eye contact and from this eye contact I will improvise on my violin what I see in their eyes so sort of I'm attempting to play their soul and as it's an improvisation, it will only exist in that moment. It's very exposing, of course, for, for me and the person sitting in front of me. I think we both have a very active role my goal is to give the public an active role in, in my performance so, so they can sort of steer essentially my music with, with what, they, what kind of look they give me. They can, they can give me a very intense look, they can give me a very friendly, happy look. It, it just depends. It also depends how open they are, you know. I find from my past experiences if, if, if someone is, is closed as a person, it's much harder to find musical inspiration from them, but some people just open completely and I could play for an hour, you know, on this person, it really depends. I have, of course, in my, in my blood from, from all of my training as a violinist, different techniques that just come out to express. For example, if I see laughter brimming in someone's eyes, I might play some kind of fast trills or some kind of fast passages. If I see somebody looking very solemn and, and very austere, then I might play some long, very deep sounding music. Just really, it just comes without thinking, kind of. For many years I've been very inspired by the work of Marina Abramovic because of the way that she brings the public into her performance, uh, giving them really an active role. And I was, it sort of stems from a frustration I had with classical performance that I feel the younger generation isn't as engaged with classical music as they could be. And possibly because of the way it's performed, because of the distance between the performer and the public. So this, this performance is inspired by The Artist is Present, which is by Marina Abramovich. And um, I just, uh, I'm seeking to really give the public a power in, in the moment of performance so that they, they feel deeply connected as part of the work of art.
in my experiences of doing this performance, people are actually very eager. I often have had you know, a stream of people coming. The question is, after they realize what, what this is about, will they open? Will they let me in? Or will they keep this kind of facade? And I think I feel really gratified and really successful if the person opens and then we can really have this nonverbal dialogue, which really, this is music. Music is, is the communication that can bridge all languages and cultures. And I feel this performance could be a very good demonstration of that. You know. I play based on what I feel um, when I sense that it's ready to, when I'm ready to finish with that person, I do. Sometimes, um, I'm, the longest I've played on one person is, is probably 30 minutes. And I could have kept going, but I felt it's time to give someone else a chance. <laughs> In terms of my performance, I do feel that this space is a, has a very special energy. I really have as a goal to perform more in, in this kind of gallery space because it kind of, it provides an environment, especially I feel like this, this room, this big white room, provides an environment which is sort of neutral. So we don't have um, a concert hall set up. We don't have any paintings on the wall, although they, uh, they may be very beautiful, it doesn't, you, the audience comes into this room without any expectation, without any, without any knowledge of what's coming, and, and that's a very important part for me. Um, I also find that just the, the architecture of this building is incredibly beautiful, and, and the surrounding is creating a very nice serenity for, for this kind of performance. I hope very much that um, I can continue this kind of performance. For me, this, this is, the, I think, the greatest goal of, of my career at the moment is, is to find a way to bridge the, the gap between the classical instrument and the public. And, and I think that the genre of performance art is extremely valuable for that. And uh, it's, it's a new genre, and I think for our time, this is a very valid way to bring the public into the work. So.